G'day, welcome to my string challenge fly corps. We continue to connect all of the countries and all of the cities around the world in one continuous string. Today we are going to bring in the tiny, very new nation of East Timor. Very slowly. One thing about this game jumping in quick is it does take a second to sort of figure out everything else it wants to do. So, in comes... East Timor. Oh, Billy. And with that, since I can't imagine we're going to see much more in East Timor, we are also going to immediately bring in the Philippines. Manila. Probably a bit bigger of a city than Dili, I would say. Right. And then what we're going to do is go back to all of our other cities that we currently don't have connected and get them connected. Puducherry is a really neat word. Puducherry. Is that where um, Life of Pi is set initially? Is that Puducherry? It's a French influenced city, if I recall that correctly. Uh, what else we got going on? Uh, oh, there was mention of a city that wasn't up to date. Might have to reference it. I'm pretty sure it was a Japanese city. So which Japanese city is not correctly done? Anyone going to stand out at any point here? One's jumping out. But let's go and have a look. See if we can find the comment. It does look like it's him, but I mean, he's just... He's just way more full than everyone else around him. Uh, Nagano. But it's just, everyone else is 2800, right? Yep, cool. Alright, very specific catch for that one. Right, okay, so we've added our one Indian city, and then we will come back up here and continue working on what we were working on. So this point here, what we have is our Russian cities over here connected into this point down here and we're just ending in Vladivostok with this line. But this line wants to appropriate the second half of this heading down this way. So if we have a look at this city here that's 36,000, 38,000. So that's his closest city. Is that the way we want to go? We want to go all the way up to Cheetah. Cheetah. That's tricky either way. Because if we went up to Cheetah, we'd sort of have to go across and then down and then back around. Let's think about this line because it, it's I can't imagine it means that we're going from higher up we're just sort of where are we connecting into here so if we zoom out a little bit you can see that we've got at least these five cities now going to be part of the Mongolian flight path yeah I think they just sort of go up and down so we get rid of say what we can base this on is that we know let's get rid of that we know that um this is probably going to be the longest route in all of this so as long as every other route is shorter than that one it doesn't much matter how long they are so we go Barun Yurt and Ulan all in, all in all. All in all, it's a pretty nice place to be. These would have to be tiny. These have to be tiny little cities, these guys. 
Let me find out what the population of all in all is. Yeah. All in dash all population. In 2000, sorry, I mean a while ago, all in all had a population of 3,700. So pretty tiny. It is definitely going to be a crawl to the finish line here with how these are uh, moving. Someone suggested uh, that what I could do is disconnect the planes that I'm working off off the main system, and potentially that would improve the uh, the quality of the game. Well, you may notice that currently the Koreas, Japan. And Mongolia aren't actually connected to anything else. So this is what it looks like unconnected. Even though we're removing a route that does not impact, say, 95% of the currently built um, flight paths, it still adds it all into its calculation of trying to figure out what's going on. So unfortunately, uh, not a good idea, but... Uh, Game, I guess, is cleverer than that. I assume as well, it means that I haven't updated these cities over here. Let's just double check these guys before we move on. Uh, he is. He's not. In fact, those planes aren't even upgraded up here. Thank you in the comments for, for those that did comment on it. All seem to validate my claim that the highest level upgrade should be level 6, not level 5. I'm back and that still bothers me. So still upgrading that guy. Okay. Him. We'll just add a second plane on this guy. Upgrade him. So we definitely know that that guy's going to need two. All right, and so all of the Mongolian ones should be up to date because they're already there. And while we're doing this, let's have a read. So uh, our first country today was East Timor, also known as Timor Leste. Uh, is officially the Democratic Republic of Timor Leste. Lest, is it Lest or Leste? A hardy, I can't recall. Uh, it's an island country in Southeast Asia. It compromises the eastern half of the island of Timor, the enclave of oh, Oikos on the island's northwestern half, and the Myelina Islands of Aturu and Jaco. Australia is a country's southern neighbour, separated by the Timor Sea. I feel like East Timor is a much more known thing, probably in Australia, than a lot of the rest of the world, since um, we had troops over there fighting. Uh, peacekeeping duties um, when it was founded. So the official language is Portuguese. Did not know that. I would assumed it was Indonesian. I mean, the fact that it's not Indonesian sort of suggests why they wanted to separate from Indonesia. Give me a population. So its independence was restored. So it was Portuguese Timor in the 16th century. It got its independence in 1975. Uh, it was annexed by Indonesia in 1976. So they didn't hang around to make that move. Um, and then its independence was restored in 2002. With a population of 1.3 million uh, as of 2021. Not somewhere that I've ever looked at as a holiday destination. Um, I don't know, like, sort of how, say, safe, stable is probably the better word, how stable it is now. 
Um, but also, there's not. I'm not sure there's overly anything there to see. Like it would definitely feel like being, you're going to a country for the sake of saying you'd been to the country, as opposed to anything there that might be uh might be magical. I'm sure there are lovely things in there, especially if they've got a heavy Portuguese influence from the uh, 16th century. I wonder if that has like long-lasting effects on their uh, their buildings, similar to like what you'd see in Macau. I wonder, what's the history? Do we have an explanation of, of when they became Portuguese era? Let's learn about that. Uh, early Portuguese presence in Timor was very limited. Trade was directed through Portuguese settlements on other islands. Uh... Moved, moved about a bit, and then I guess eventually they decided they wanted it. If you can imagine that. European power deciding they wanted somewhere else in the 16th century. Stranded this guy here. He, uh... Need to get rid of that one. I will get rid of that one. And, uh, Philippines, with them as well. Did I say Philippines before? I'm 100% confident I said that. I'm concerned I said Malaysia, but I realized I was looking at Manila, so I'm not sure if maybe I said Manila. Not sure if you've got this in other parts of the world, but in the way that a lot of places will have, say, um, Indian help desks and things, it's a very big uh, Filipino help desk uh, culture that I guess you'll see in in Australia. It, it does certainly help that they're in a similar time zone to Australia. Um, it's also not a bad accent. Uh, They've essentially got an American accent, like a version of an American accent, that, yeah, I guess also makes it an appealing option for that sort of thing, but yeah, you'll have lots of Manila-based help desks that operate the businesses in Australia. All right. Philippines, officially the Republic of the Philippines is uh, situated in the Western Pacific Ocean, consists of around 7,641 islands. Now this also seems to be possibly the longest route that we've got in all of this, so let's just give them a second plane. Uh, categorized under three main geographical divisions from the north to the south. Um, Luzon, Visayas, and Madano. Are now Philippines is bounded by the South China Sea to the west, Philippine Sea to the east, and the Celebs Sea to the southwest. There's maritime borders with Taiwan to the north, Japan to the northeast, Palau to the east and southwest. Where am I going here? Yeah, there we go. They have a very nice flag. The, the, this is one thing that I find very interesting that the country is Philippines, spelled P H I. L I double P I N E S, but the language is F I L I P I N O. And I believe the reason for that is one one is English and the other is Portuguese? Spanish. I can't recall which. But it's that that if you were to write Philippines in one of the two languages, uh, Spanish or Portuguese, it starts with an F. And that's where the word Filipino comes from the language, but for the, um, yeah, for the country name, it's PH, because that's the English way of doing it. Uh, population of the Philippines is 109 million as of 2020.
Right, and so now we get it to it up here and we are in perfect position to go and sweep through all of these cities here. The question really though at the moment is where are we going? Like where's the end point of this line and how's it going to reconnect back to what we've got going on over here? Because this is all one line. At the moment, it would need to end terminate somewhere down here. That I do not know the answer to. Essentially what we can do is we can bring all of this all the way back down so we continue this line down and as this gets down here somewhere we can actually close the loop and then we would loop all of this and it means that sort of like we we loop through this before heading back up across the north top of Russia which doesn't seem to make sense. I think the mistake that I made was this. Again, I think I might have just forgotten what my uh, my plan was. If I sell that and do... No, that doesn't work either. I was going to say and do this connection. Then what I want to do with this is make a loop that then sends back the other way, which is really annoying because I've just spent all that time undoing that loop. Now I potentially have to recreate the loop again. So let's not worry about it for now. We've, we've just basically defined the separation of where, um, what's Mongolia, what's China. And we're gonna look down this way. So apparently we're terminating here in Vladivostok that we don't wanna do. Um, possibly what we wanna do is get rid of this line here and run that to there. Slowly. Get rid of that and that. Also got this also hasn't, I haven't finished sort of connecting all of this, so this is all still a work in progress at the moment. So, what we can do is we can go from, this is a very close connection there, so let's get rid of that, because I don't like those really close connections. May eventually let me get rid of that, there we go. So they can come out of here, they can go up to Dijon and then drop to there. Sun. And date him. Possibly said it before too, if this game just had a pause function, that would also surely like stop so much of this calibration issue that you could just sort of like, the game could wait till you unpause to have this moment of trying to figure out where everyone needs to reroute as opposed to needing to reroute the second that every, um, every route is laid. It's not an, an up-to-date plane either. Okay, these guys go all the way up there. We connect these two together.
And then we go down to Pyongyang. And then we jump across here. Now currently you can see there's an end point there. But what we've successfully done is made all of this a loop. So if we can get this through basically as the loop that it currently is, you can see it comes in here and then it goes out there. We've just basically got to get all of these cities. And looking at that now, you can sort of see a bit clearer where these cities all belong on this loop. I don't, assume, I don't think that that's a new sort of like startup kick for this song. I think that's it just collapsing on us. How long can we put up with that before the game crashes on us? No? All right, well, let's, uh, let's try and pause and save the game before... Let's save the game anyway, even though the music has stopped because we went to the menu. Because I still don't trust this game. There's definitely going to be some missed cities in here, I would say, for upgrading them properly. On my toes here. Give me the option too to just have my um have my uh what's his also updated like you let me update the route but can I do a sweeping like update everyone I wouldn't mind that if it said hey you've got this many level ones in total which like just a settings menu like it doesn't have to be displayed to you the whole time. I just join these two? Maybe watch the replay on that, because I'm sure I was up here. I don't know how I swung swung that connection. I I realize a part of the challenge of this game is that it doesn't let you pause. So when you're about to collapse, you've got it like especially in all countries mode or something it's it's unforgiving and you've got it like you don't have the luxury of pausing to solve it but i don't think it would do this game wonders it really doesn't want me to connect these two cities um i think it would allow you to sort of pause out a little bit longer think through it this is just a fun casual strategy game no one should be playing this game hardcore um so i think that that adding pause to it should be a be a great move some people have said to me at points where i've said that there's a pause button right in that top left hand corner but it's not it's the menu so you can't like say hit that and then make adjustments it's just a menu button in sheep's clothing as well that I I play this game once a week to, to slowly progress this like I haven't backlogged these I do generally will wait for the another week to go by part of that is trying to give the benefit of the doubt to the um, the game creators and, and hope that 
they might release an update that will improve performance. It has happened in the past. There was a point that you um you can go back and see. I think on one of the videos I commented and pinned it to say that I wouldn't make another one for a little while because I needed like the game was genuinely unplayable. Like obviously I'm playing this right now, so it was worse than this because I just was like, no, it, it's impossible to do. Uh, and they did improve that. Um, I think at that point it was like the game was saving every time a plane landed somewhere. So if you imagine that every single time a plane landed on, say, a map layout like this, with the amount of planes that are moving around, the game stopped to save it. The other thing I was thinking about with that comment, because it also made said that it has updated that it now saves only when... Um, I think it was when a new route or something is bought. And I was thinking about that and I'm like, this game doesn't have an autosave feature though. If I quit this game, there's nothing there. So what? what's saving? Like, the, the game doesn't have cloud features either. Um, I don't know where, um, what it's saving or where it's going, but it's just dragging it down really for no reason. There, And, and if, if genuinely it this is the save feature that is killing it. Like, let me turn off autosave. Because it's not worth this, uh, this pain. Okay, so... Just trying to look at... Easily I could drop this. I think that that's what we want to do. I don't think we need to have that long route. Or this long route. What do instead is... Just have this guy go straight down this way. Then, I think that the, the way these guys are lined up don't really allow it to connect to... Oh, it does. Wait, no, because that's, that's not an end. So basically, we would have to loop it back in. So it's got to sit somewhere where it can loop. That... I think... That pronounced chaos sound. Interesting word. Probably not, because I don't know what a CHA sound is. Well, I mean, Chang is a, a Chinese word, right? The so Cha would exist. I would assume that's its own separate part, so it's Chao, Chao Zhao. Okay, then what we do is we'll go up to Genzao. No, not what I was doing. This is it, we're all proper freaking out now. To the point that it's not really reading the map right. Deals. That it can't like it can't trace the mouse, the clicks and, and drags. That's really fascinated me is I don't feel like I knew the name Wuhan as a city before COVID, but in everything since I've I feel like I've noticed the name more when mentioned, and by all accounts, it's a huge city that you can see where it is like on this map. It's central, just outside like 
an hours away from Shanghai, but central to Shanghai, between Guangzhou and and Shenzhen and Shanghai, and then sort of straight up, like, um, it's a very importantly placed city in in China. The I guess the fact that sort of COVID came from there is more sort of says that it. it that's how easily that one city can spread out to the world. Like if you were looking at possibly one of these other sort of um, even big Chinese cities that sit a bit more like just to the that that are sort of don't have such an international connection to them, it might not have spread internationally as quickly. Like I mean, it still I assume would have because you would have got um, people would have gone to Wuhan, Guangzhou and gotten out but I don't know I mean there are, there are international flights and so on that go through Wuhan so I like it when I click on one of the seasons I'm like oh no they're just doing badly it's not that they're not upgraded Still just got Manila down here. See what the population of Manila is. I imagine it's quite big. There we go. So I think. Uh, where are we? Population is. 1.8 million in the city. In the urban areas, it's 25 million. In the metro region, it's 13 million. So yeah, pretty hefty city, that one. Recommend just to upgrade all first level airports. If we've got any, let's do it. sure I did there's nothing there's no um, Chinese cities on this northern route that I didn't address big swing up you can see that Chibli it's an upgrade a glance does everyone else look like they're okay they're not sort of like Christmas lighting So we can get our very last Chinese city connected. Alright. Okay, so from here, I'd say what we want to do is Gotta get rid of our route to Hanoi. And Erlang Sun. Thing is that we've done I opened up Russia and then let the game run for a long time and we still have barely scratched the surface of Russia. So much so that I made all those terrible changes to Mongolia to start this, and I guarantee to come next episode, I don't, I won't remember what my game plan was, and I'll spend a little bit longer. All oh, my money's on, I'm gonna spend a lot longer making it worse before I remember that I was uh, um, meant to be making it a loop again. So let's all sit back and enjoy that next time. That even saying all this, I won't remember by that point, 
and uh, we can all enjoy it together. Me digging a, a grave even further. So what we'll do is we will connect these three Vietnamese cities, and we will call it a day. If you feel like at the rate we're going for adding these new cities, for how like user friendly the game's being to me. I'm gonna run out of countries to, to add episodes for before we get through joining all of Russia. My hope is that the game will improve and that I'm not spending so long per city adding it. Because I, I would say that I should be considering actually taking a break from it to let it recover some more but the thing is that it is so close to the end like there are only so many cities that that could be left at this point so we may as well just try and see it through to the end let's just upgrade all these cities that we've now got on this line done plane on that route needs doing too And on this one. All right, so there we go. So a quick glance at China. Um, I suppose you can see that some of these routes up here just need that second plane. Save that one too. So yeah, and that, that loop is fully complete, so that's all happy. Oh, we did get a few of the southern islands of the Philippines picked up some. And nothing else to East Timor, that's not surprising. Surprised though that that's not gone red though. Oh, it's because we had that what increased to 100 spots. But we've got all of this still to go. But we are starting to see great southern land just sort of peer into view. I think I should open him up next just to give him some time adding some cities because there's only so many places really in Vanuatu, Fiji, Solomon Islands that will actually show up. But there we go. Uh, any questions or comments feel free to chuck them below and until next time we cross our fingers that there's an update that improves efficiency. Uh, see you later. Gotcha.